Alright, so we have here a battery connector that got just uh, corroded. You can see on the battery that this is this negative battery post is all kinds of wobbly. So um, this happened just because of deterioration, corrosion. There was like a huge mound of like powder on here just from the corrosion of the battery or whatever, you know over time. It's like the original battery for the car, so it's six or seven years old or whatever. Uh, so this was like this. This was on here. Um, so my first initial thought was just to replace the, uh, um, the connectors and, you know, just go with it because this thing was shot. I mean, it, you can see all the corrosion underneath. It was really bad. Somebody had already tried to fix it before, and um, there was like a shim, like one of these, uh, on here, and it was just horrible. So I took this off, went to the Auto Zone, got one of these, and um, I got a red one too for the positive. But for right now, I'm just going to do the negative because the process is this just repeated with the red one instead of the black one. So. Uh, this factory connection here, the shrink wrap and the the uh, crimp connector that they have in here and the silicone that they got here uh, isn't horrible yet. So I'm just going to leave it on there for now. Um, and I bought this kind of connector. I could have got the same kind of connector uh, like this right here. But um, they're a lot more expensive than these. And this will do the job for now. So that's what I'm deciding to do. So... Uh, I took this off. That's garbage. I had to cut it off because this is loose. Um, so there's some marks over here on the battery post that uh, you can see. I had to take a, you know, a cutoff wheel, 90 degree cutoff wheel, and cut it off because I didn't want to further damage the post. So anyway. Uh, that's pretty much just going to stay like that for now until uh, I replace the battery, but this goes on here uh, just to cover up those um, cuts on the post. Uh, this I shaved down with my uh, die grinder there um, just to fit inside here like this it's because this is still good, so I didn't want to cut it and solder it all up and do all that right now until this starts to fail uh, just to keep some of the factory stuff intact so this will work for now it's just a negative so it's it's alright so anyway how this thing works is it's just got two bolts two nuts it's like a clamp style you can see inside you know where you're supposed to stick the wire that little um, indentation there that dip right here is where you're supposed to stick the wires but this one's got two wires anyway, so I just decided to put this in there like that. And I'm going to bolt it down, and it's like a brass to, you know, like a galvanized steel. It'll be alright for a little while, so. Um, always disconnect a positive or the negative, or rather and the negative when you're working on something electrical. Computers on the new cars now don't really like it. Fuses don't like it that much. You know, I mean, I'm talking kind of amateurish just so the general audience will understand what I'm talking about. But basically, it's a good idea to disconnect the positive and negative if you're working on the negative or the positive. Either one. Just disconnect the battery completely. So, I'll uh, talk to you guys in just a minute. I'll show you how I put it all together.